Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I just want to do a simple video that can help you with the three card spread readings, all right? I know there are many nice ideas and videos out there already. I just want to combine and put a few together and I'll give you 12 different ways to do a three uh, card reading, all right? So normally you just use the three cards and you can ask one question, but what kind of question can you ask to get specifics from these three cards alone, all right? And like I always say, my details, the cards that I use will always be in the description below. If you want to contact me, I'll, I'm always happy to hear from you. And so normally what is the first one everybody uses is the past, present, future, right? Where the first card is your past, situation, why that happened, and the present situation, what's going on at the moment, the future, what is the outcome, right? And that is fine. What you can do, that is what we normally always use, right? Whether you are beginner or not, you know, everybody uses these ones. What I wanted to tell you is always keep it simple. With three cards, don't ask like a very, very deep question unless you wanted to have a longer, bigger spread, right? Of course, you can always take one more, but three cards is very good for, for simple, quick advice that you may need. So past, present, future, what I would give you a spin on that is if you have something very specific that just happened to you, it's used, let's say, last week, this week, next week, or yesterday, today, tomorrow. If you know exactly something that just happened to you and you, and you want to know maybe an advice or why did that happen yesterday or last week or le uh, this week or today, something, how you're feeling, what you can do today and maybe tomorrow or next week, an advice of what is coming soon enough if it's tomorrow or next week is still close enough but it's something more specific to some situation that's going on right now and you need a quick advice, right? So it's always very good. But one thing that uh, I'm using already in this channel and I'm gonna put a video every week is the week spread all right so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday these are very nice options and I'm gonna keep uh, adding them to the channel just so we have an idea of how the week is going what to expect what we can avoid maybe or something like that just anything to help us out so that's something I'm going to keep going. Something else you can do is you, me, we, right? So I'm going to just turn the cards here so you have a, the cards anyway, an idea. So a situation, any situation, any questions, any a person, a relationship that you have at the moment, you is the person that you're asking about, what are they thinking, what is the situation in their heads or depending on a specific question what's going on me what is going on for me an advice for me what is going on in this situation and we how the two of you combine what is the outcome of the two of you in this situation could be friends family lovers it doesn't matter you know you me we okay and another one uh, it would it be for something that many people used to is pros, cons, and advice. So any question, any situation that is going on at the moment, pros, the first card, cons, the second card, and advice for the last card. And it would be and even an extra card. Sometimes if you need more information, you can always pull an extra card, of course. But those are very useful, straightforward pros, cons, and advice of a situation that is going on at the moment for you. Another one, very nice is what to expect, what to do, and outcome. So the first card card would be what to expect of the situation, what is what um, it's going on. You know, if you, if you don't change anything, if you just leave as is, what to do if you want to act on it, if you want something to change, and if you do change the outcome of that, if you know if you you act on it, if you do anything different. Right, so it's very, very good to again advise on what is the outcome of the situation if you change something about it. Another one, it's what or even who, when and why. So it could be depending of a question of 
who is that person or who is the, doing that to you or who is feeling that certain way about you and when like when are they gonna act or when is the situation um, gonna happen to you or changing and why why is this happening to you right now why is this person coming towards you or like I say it could be who or it could be what depending of the question so who and what and then when and then why okay so very useful as well to have some quite uh, insight of you know your question depending of your situation another one is release receive and advice something that i believe i have a, a video in the channel regarding that something that you may need to to release at the moment that is not serving you or a person situation you know relationship place attitude anything that you need to release any anything that you can receive if you release this attitude what you will receive and a, and a general advice about the situation lovely lovely reading release receive and advice because it's always good to know what we needed to get rid of what is no longer serving us what is stopping us from moving on so release receive and advice very very good one another one similar to it it's do don't and advice so something that you should do something that you should not do and an advice about the situation. So you have a question, what you should do about that, what you should not do about that, and an advice of the outcome. So do, don't, and advice. Very, very useful as well. And another one, it's within, without, and advice. As you can see, most of the time, the third one is an advice or an outcome of the situation, which is very useful depending on what you're asking on the first two ones. So it's reading would be something internal that you need to know right now or something that's happening to you so you understand why the situation is happening to you at the moment inside yourself without any external influence about the situation. Is it a person? Is it a place? What is influencing this situation right now? And an advice about you know what is going on, a general advice for you. So very, very useful one as well. Another one, we are already on the 10th, is think, say, and do. So something for you to think about it on the first card, something for you to say, you, you, you should express yourself on the second card, and something for you to actually do, something for you to move on, act on it on the third card. Very useful, very, very good for you, depending on the question, things that you need to know. And another one, which is interesting as well, it's a way, depending on the situation you have, you can put like a situation or decision you need to make, okay? And you can put the first card as choice one or option number one, and the second card as option number two. So you know that whatever comes on this, the, the, the second card and the third card would be the options so that you have, and then you would know the outcome of this whether you're choosing choose option one or option two what will be the the outcome of that when you are ready you have a question and you know the options you have so what will be the outcome of option one or option two or even when you don't know what to do you understand the situation and you have a choice one and choice two so you know which way to go which is with a situation depend of a question of course so again will always depend on the question, but, you know, just anything that can help you out with the choices that you have. And the last one is something that it's really lovely. It's a strength, heart, and challenge. So a strength would be what you have in the situation, what would be your strengths in the situation that, that you're asking. Heart is what is in your heart, really. What do you really want in this situation? What do you want to know? And the challenge is what do you need to heal or work on in the situation to have it resolved? What are, what are the challenges at the moment that you need to, you know, heal, work on and have a resolution? So this is really a nice one. This is it really, guys. And I know this is going to be hopefully a quick video, but it's just some ideas for you to do, whether you're using Oracle cards, mainly Oracle card, um, tarot cards will work on, like those ones, or even even if you're using really the, 
I have here uh, three oracle cards if you wanted to use it as well you know let's say let's say you see here we have here um, I'm just trying to organize in a way if it came like this, right? So if it's, um, I'm just taking this away and giving the Oracle cards. So if you have, let's say, Oracle cards and you want to do the same, you could always ask, uh, you know, what to do, what to expect. If, let's say you're doing something like um, issue, advice and outcome right so the issue here would be uh you you already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your truth okay so the issue is that you're overthinking about the situation you needed to actually do something about it and the, the advice is yes just just say yes so the advice here is very straightforward say yes to the situation and the outcome would be uh, birthing a new age Birthing new creations, dreaming new world into, uh, dreaming a new world into being. So this would be the outcome would be that something completely new would come to you, a new idea, something like that would be helpful for you. Birthing a new time on your life, something completely, um, you know, according to your dreams or things that you want. Dreaming this new world, this new phase of your life. So, you know, it can work, work with oracle cards as well and it can be really beautiful. It just depends on the question or which way you're taking. So those are just some simple ways to, to use the cards, whether it's tarot cards or oracle cards. Most of the time I will use with tarot cards, all right? And um, because oracle cards, sometimes they, they just one card is enough to to give you that specific uh, advice and they, like I said, they, many times they have written things and you know like specific information like those ones. But it also can be, you know, um, the oracle cards. Of course, you can use them. But most of the time, I do use tarot cards for those ones, and they they can be quite useful and specific for the ones you're using. So those are some simple ideas. Like I say, keep it simple. It can be really, really useful when you actually keep it simple and you ask direct things like that. So you know one card it's it's a pro, one card is a con, one card is an advice, for example, you know? So I hope it helps you in some way. And if it did, let me know. I will be really happy to hear from you, like always. And you can always contact me if you want. So if you made it so far, thanks very much for watching. Okay, bye-bye.